Folks, I want you to know as the music plays softly that, listen, Quinn Chapel, we're going to go through some changes. Cooler cool. We're going through some changes. Some of you individually and personally right now are dealing with changes in your life. Let me tell you something. The loss of a loved one is a dramatic change. A change in job status. I was once working here and now I'm not. It's a tough change. When sickness hits the household, it's a change. And what I want to ask of you today is this. We're going to pray for Quinn Chapel in a minute, but first we want to pray for you. If you are dealing with a change, it may be a change that has happened, and it may be a change that has not yet happened. Are you with me? Every head is bowed and every eye is closed. Every head is bowed, every eye is closed. Every head is bowed and every eye is closed. Every head is bowed and every eye is closed. Why bow our heads and close our eyes? Because I'm going to ask some folk to raise their hands right now. If change is a matter in your life, either it's happening, it's happened, or you're looking for it to happen. Just raise your hand right now, wherever you are. Hallelujah. I see you. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can let your hands down because your act of raising your hand is an act of faith. That is an act of faith that you are saying, Lord, I'm petitioning you right now. That, Lord, I will recognize that all things happen in your time. And, Lord, I'm petitioning you right now, Lord, that I would just seek you, knowing that as I seek you, you'll take care of me, Lord. That, that's what your raised hand meant. And you're saying, Lord, right now, I trust you in this matter. In fact, Lord, somebody wrote a prayer and it said, I declare. Ah. I declare it so. So let's pray, folks. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory be to you, O oh God. We love you, Lord. We lift you up. We express our gratitude to you, Lord, and our appreciation for your love. Lord, we extol you and we hold you up, Lord, knowing that you are God all by yourself and that there's none other than you, Lord, right now. And we come saying, thank you. Thank you, Lord, because you're helping us through our time of transition, our time of change. And the things that have changed in our lives, Lord, we know that you've got them and that you, you, you've already seen them, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You've already seen it, Lord. The changes that we need and the things that need to happen, Lord, you've already seen them and you saw them before the very beginning of it started. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We pray a simple prayer of faith right now. Faith to overcome. Faith to prevail. Faith to receive. Faith to move forward. So now, Lord, as we have prayed for your children, your individual children, we now pray for this congregation that, Lord, as we advance in our journey to fulfill the mission of sharing the name of Jesus Christ with the world, we know, Lord, that every change that you brought about is according to your perfect plan and your perfect will, not based on our sequential chronos, but, Lord, based on your perfect Kairos, happening at the most opportune and exact time, Lord, that you established in your plan. 
So thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for change. Thank you for being our God and loving us so. This prayer we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let the people of God together say amen, 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 and amen. Give God praise for answering your prayers. Give God praise for bringing you through. Give God praise for delivering in your life what God has for you. Give God praise because he's always been right there with you. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. You may be here today and we want you to know that God loves you. Every now and then, in the midst of life's pace, life's problems, we have to stop and remind ourselves that God loves me. And the good thing about God's love is that it is unconditional. Uh, let me tell you this. It's unconditional. That means that there are no conditions that must be met in order to receive God's love. Now, that's only half of the goodness. The other half of the goodness is because God's love is unconditional, there's nothing you can do to lose it. Oh, come here. Huh? So whoever you are and wherever you are, I want you to say these simple words with me right now. God loves me. Together, God loves me me again God loves me. one more time God loves me. and God is saying today if you've never prayed a prayer to accept the love of Almighty God in your life today is your day you see folks always say in tradition and this is an anniversary the tradition was to say the doors of the church are open what they're really trying to express in that in that in that statement is this that the arms of Jesus Christ are wide open, ready to receive you right now. That the love of Almighty God is reaching out and it's seeking you out right where you are, just as you are, because God loves you. And so if you haven't made a prayer that says, hey, you know what? God, I accept your love. Thank you. And I invite you today to pray a prayer like that. So as our heads are bowed again, can you do that again by your head? Amen, close your eyes. If you're here today, if you're here today, if you're here today, and you've never prayed a prayer that says, I receive God's love and I believe God loves me. It's a simple prayer, it goes something like this. Lord Jesus, I need you. I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I thank you for the forgiveness of my sins. Lord, I receive you as my Savior and I accept you as the Lord, the head of my life. And I ask that you'll simply take me and make me the person you want me to be. This day I receive salvation. This day I receive deliverance. This day I receive freedom because this day, Lord, thank you, I'm saved. See, if you've never worked it out so that you know exactly where you're going when you breathe your last breath, today is your day to work that thing out because God has thought it through and worked it out for you. And he's saying, just receive it today. If you're here today and you want to pray a prayer that receives the love of God, every head is bowed, every eye is closed, just raise your hand right where you are. Raise your hand right where you are. I, think, I see your hands. I see your hands. I see your hands. And with your hand up, will you come forward right now? In no way, all heads are bowed, all eyes are closed. Your hand is up. Would you come forward? My dear sister, come on, come on, come on. I saw your hand up. You can come. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You can come. You can come. Come on. That's right. Come on. Come on. That's right. Come on. Somebody raise your head and give God praise. Somebody raise your head and give God praise. Somebody raise your head and give God praise. Hallelujah. Come on, you can do better than that. Jesus Christ is right now standing in the throne room of grace. Come on, sis. Come on, come on, come on, come on, sis. Come on. Come on. Come on, sis. Come on. Right now, right now, right now. Hallelujah. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. 
Hallelujah. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on. Come on. That's right. He took care of you. In a time of change, he's been right there. Hallelujah. We're going to ask that the ministerial staff will make sure that after we pray with our brothers and sisters that you take everyone's name and information and that we will then be able to share because we're going to walk with you. Amen. Father, we come now and we lift up my dear sisters who have come to stand at the kneeling rail of the altar of Almighty God because they're coming receiving and accepting your love right now. They don't have to do a thing, Lord. It's already been shared abroad through the love of God that was shared abroad in Christ Jesus. So thank you, Lord. Strengthen right now because somebody's going through some changes, Lord. Somebody's dealing with something right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak healing. Hallelujah. 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 Wholeness healing right now right now hallelujah thank you Lord Lord these your servants have come and they've received you and they come now seeking you Lord and they know Lord that your word is true that they will seek first your kingdom and your righteousness knowing Lord that you've added all things to them everything they needed in the past everything they need today Lord Everything that they thought they weren't going to receive, but somehow it came through for them, Lord, they know it was you. Right now, Lord, as we look to find ourselves among a people who love you, Lord, let this congregation be that people. We now take upon ourselves the duty as the body of Christ at Quinn Chapel to walk with my brother and my sisters, that they would then be strengthened by the presence of the Holy Spirit in us. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the people of God together say, Amen. Come on, let's give God praise. If you would.